classic example of our own organization. Um, for those who may or may not know, I represent a company called Max Aerospace. We are probably India's uh, leading private sector MRO for military. Uh, we are also one of the largest for the civil side on components and engine systems. We started off Colonel as a pure uh, avionics MRO for civil aviation. And um, there was a huge resistance on the term synergy, it didn't exist. Now that what we are pushing is something that happened to me, and I still remember uh, good, bad, right, wrong, Kargil. Kargil happened and um, I had uh, AOC ANC in those days, SS Gupta. And John Kiraman who visited because they were told that we had uh, capability on Western avionics. Yes, we were able to help them. We were sanctioned in those days. India was sanctioned. We did the work and they were surprised and uh, the journey started then. Uh, the journey's the biggest hurdle, I think, would have been the mindset that everything must be done by DPSU. DPSUs are, are defense PSUs. And as uh, mentioned by my friend Suri Sap earlier, our biggest DPSU for aviation, HAL, is, is a fantastically uh, large company that we all must agree, if it concentrates its energies on manufacturing, it then leaves open the field for industry to do MRO. I don't know if anyone here who knows if Boeing or Airbus or Bombardier does the MRO of the aircraft. The answer is zero. Or Bell or Sikorsky or anyone. HL is the only company I know that actually wants to do MRO of the aircraft. Um, now, that distinction or that uh, hurdle went away a few years ago. I think you were very much a part of that decision-making process. And now we see the synergy. The uh, challenge now, sir, is not synergy. Uh, it's being pushed. Uh, we ourselves do a fair amount of work for military. It's infra. And we just lack infra. If anyone says India has the infra for the synergy, the answer is absolute nonsense. No, we do not. We do not have, um, General Suri also mentioned about engines going to Singapore. The only engine shop we have is again HL and perhaps Air India. We have no other engine facility in the country. When you talk about APUs, when you talk about, I'm talking about the bigger stuff. So, my whole focus is if you really want to get this synergy, you're going to have to figure out a way how um, Indian industry, and by Indian industry I also mean qualifying Indian industry, is able to participate in the infra that has been built with tax rupees, nothing lesser, substantial infra. And for uh, my friends here from IIT, young, you know, I also do this uh, every year at Mumbai IIT. I'm going to give you a stunning statistic. HL is bigger than Boeing and Airbus combined in terms of infra, in terms of capability. In terms of number of people, in terms of hangarage. I don't want to get into how many planes they make and they don't. But it's time that this, this infra is handed over to qualifying Indian industry. And I mean handed over means absolutely handed over. Take the risk. I mean, what do you stand to lose? Similarly, I believe um, the Air Force, not the Army Aviation, perhaps not even Navy, has a fair amount of BRDs and I'm seeing uh, that, that movement from the Air Force, and I know Sanjeev Sar is here. We all know what the Indian project that's coming about. So there is a real move to do that. It's either that, Colonel, or you start building from grassroots new, you know, brick and mortar factories. Forget factories, hangars. Not that we've had uh, major success. I um, was with Ministry of Civil Aviation just yesterday, and uh, there was a, you know, we're getting towards the end of this government's term. And they were talking about achievements and this and that. And I said, we must realize something has not worked in our policy. Not a single rupee in FDI in the last five years. I mean, we may have made it as easy as we wanted. Yeah. No, nothing has happened. No new companies. You're seeing the same monkeys on the stage in terms of Indian industry tomorrow like you've been seeing for the last five years. Me included. Because um, we haven't... We, we need a mindset change. We need an ecosystem change. Synergy is there, Colonel. I have no doubt about the synergy. Um, 
we have Sanjeev Sabe, he's flying 73s. No, I mean, um, uh, we don't have a Navy guy here, they're flying 73s and the spear ties, right? But but we've been repairing 737 for jet airways for 25 years till they closed down Napa Akasa. And so does the, the VIP squadron. That has even less emission system than the PHI. And so on and so forth. I'm not even getting into Mirage 2000 or Rafael. So the message is clear. We need more infra. We need an ecosystem and we need a major mindset change. Major. For us to be able to accelerate reform. I have no doubt there has been real reform. Full credit. No political statements to the government that has done it. But it is, it needs to be accelerated, and I call it uh, using uh, my favorite word, turbo speed. Our imports, Colonel, are hitting 21,000 crores a year. For MRO, civil. You know, this translates into 4 lakhs a minute. By the end of time we get off this stage, you lost another 2.5 crores to foreign, invest, uh, foreign MROs. Thanks. You make very uh, very interesting points and very strong points. One is just hand it over. So, um, yeah, that's a very interesting point because when I see HAL, for example, or any of these uh, these big companies, what really happens is the government, you know, uh, for whatever the policies that we followed since uh, independence, we have put in a lot of infrastructure. So they do machining, they do nuts and bolts, they do, they are MSMEs also, they are supposed to be integrated.